what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it is july 16th today we're going to do this range test club car president the vitas ac 23 inch tire six inch lift kit we have the two eagle batteries in here that's it those are 32 amp hours a piece however on the gauge it's showing around 70 amp hours of capacity we have the gopro charged we're going to put the phone in the cubby we're going to record the miles on it as well and see exactly how far we can go on two eagle two batteries by bigbattery.com be sure to use the discount code fentertainment to save 10 percent off of your purchase this is a cart you probably haven't seen on the channel in quite a while uh, this is my 14 president it's currently still on the navitas ac system 5kw 600 amp is running the big battery husky 2 and with 48 volts the controller turned up a little bit we've been having a lot of fun with it but on today's video we're going to remove the husky 2 we're going to install the big battery eagle 2 we're going to do a two battery setup and we're going to do a range test so before we get these eagle 2s installed Let's kind of go over them real quick. It says it has a max charge current of 30 amps, max discharge current of 60 amps, and you'll notice the capacity over here says 32 amp hours. This right here is for a single cell. However, the nominal capacity with two cells a minute ago when it was fully charged was 70 amp hours, meaning that the normal, uh, the normal capacity of this battery may be under advertised. And the max discharge current, 60 amps, that's per battery. So if you put two in parallel, it's going to be 120 amps. You put a three in parallel, it's going to be 180 amps, and it just keeps going up from there. However, after talking with Big Battery, a lot of the stuff here is under-advertised, and it will handle a little bit more than what's recommended. With that being said, this is an IP67 rated battery. It's completely sealed and waterproof. It's got a heating element built inside, so that means if you live in a colder climate, and let's say the temperature is like below 32 degrees. Once you plug the charger up, the BMS will notice the temperature and it will turn on the heater. So the heater will actually heat up the lithium cells so that the charger does not ruin them during a cold temperature charging. Notice here it says calm, that means you just can connect multiple in parallel together and it has an LED meter on the very top of it. There it is. We're going to go ahead and get this right here in the golf cart and get it wired up properly and um, take it for a test drive. So the back of the Eagle 2 gauge comes in just over two inches. So the hole that I have on my dash panel is small enough that you don't need any kind of hardware or anything behind it. It's such a tight fit. It slid in place, but it won't move or anything by itself. So that's what it looks like there. All right, both of the batteries are in. I got them on the driver's side. You can put them either side you want. I'm just going to put these on the driver's side. Notice the batteries is facing the same direction. You can read equal two, and you can read equal two, just like that. First thing we're going to do now is hook up our comm cable between both batteries. All right, so when hooking up the comm cable, you go output of one battery to the input of the other battery. Now on this battery here, output, we're gonna hook our gauge up to that one. Now that we have the gauge hooked up to this battery here, we're gonna to need to put your power and your ground from your comm cable so that it'll illuminate. And we're gonna put it on positive and negative of the battery. However, we're gonna to wait to the last step to do that. The reason is I wanna be sure that we put the positive to positive and negative to negative on first, and then we do the lighter cables and the lighter gauge wires last. So first thing we're gonna do is negative to negative, Positive to positive, we're gonna hook the golf cart positive up to one and the golf cart negative up to the other. Then we'll connect our positive and negative leads here. If you were installing your charger the same way, what I would do is I would put my positive of the charger on one battery and my negative of the charger on the last battery. All right, so as you can tell, I have the golf cart main negative coming into this battery here. I also have it going from the main negative cable that was supplied with the kit going from here to this negative here okay so it's paralleled then I have the ground coming from the gauge into this battery here 
Okay, I have the golf cart power cable coming into this right here, battery's positive. is paralleled with the included cable going to this battery here, but I also have the gauge positive going in there as well. Okay, so everything is installed and hooked up. Next thing we need to do is turn the batteries on. And on my case, I have to hold this right here battery down for I think 10 seconds to turn it on. There it is. The batteries are now on. This battery is on as well. See there? This light right here went off. The battery is fully charged. Look down here on the gauge. It's showing two comms, 70 amp hours. There we go. You can see it now. 100%, 70 amp hours, two comms. So that means two different batteries in here. All right, guys, we just made it back to the truck. We've been 24.16 miles, and the big battery gauge is showing 5% in the low battery, so I believe we could have got another mile or two out of this right here, And uh, but I say this is a success. Anyways, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and load the golf cart up, carry it back to the house. Something's going on uptown. You can see off in the distance there, there's a lot of, police presence around here uh, the motorcycles were coming in quick as along with the other trucks too maybe i'll slow the video down at the end they're chasing someone or something well with that being said it's none of my business but ready to get back to the house it's getting hot i put this bad boy on charge and i'll catch you in just a minute so i'm sitting in edit i forgot to make an outro so i want to sit here and tell you i appreciate you watching the video if you're interested in a two battery setup from bigbattery.com, you can use my coupon code FINTERTAINMENT to save 10% off your entire purchase. So you'll actually save shipping and money off the units. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching today's video. And until next time, we'll see y'all later. Bye.